Hello guys. So let's continue with advanced services of net Kubernetes networking and we will discuss today uh, in this lecture about cross node proxy first. Now remember that Kube proxy is running on all the nodes. So even if the pod is not running there, the traffic will be given a proxy to the appropriate host. Refer to the cross node traffic figure for a visual on how the traffic flows. A user makes a request to an external IP or URL. The request is serviced by node in this case. However, the pod does not happen to run on this node. This is not a problem because the pod IP addresses are routable. So queue proxy or IP table simply passes traffic onto the pod IP in this service. The network routing then completes on node 2 when the requested application lives. Now go through the, uh, take your time to see the visual on how the traffic flows uh, for a better understanding. Okay, so I'm quickly moving to, uh, you know, the custom ports. Service also allows you to map your traffic to different ports. Then the containers and ports expose themselves. We will create a service that exposes port 90 and forwards traffic to port 80 on the ports. We will call the node hyphen js hyphen 90 pod to reflect the custom port number. Let's create the following two definition files. First, as you can see on the screen right now, it's self-explanatory. So I'm not taking much of your time to take, you know, uh, to tape, take, describe it. Now, uh, the upper portion is in continuation to the last program, which you have seen in the last screen. And the next uh, is basically we are talking about Node.js hyphen custom port controller dot y a m l uh, so now the other program is this as you see on the screen here okay okay and this program is basically a uh, node.js custom port service so this is controller and this is the service dot y a m l okay now you will note that this that in the service definition we have target port element this element tells the service the port to use for pods slash containers in the pool as we saw in the previous example if you do not specify a target port it assumes that it is same port as your service this port is still used as a service port but in this case, we are going to expose the service on port 90 while the containers serve content on port 80. So create this RC and service and open the appropriate firewall rules as we did in the last lecture. It may take a moment for the external load balancer IP to propagate to the get service command. Once it does, you should be able to open and see our familiar web application in a browser using the following format as you can see here. As you can see here, this format. Okay, so let's quickly move now next multiple ports in case of multiple ports. So another custom port use case is that of multiple ports. Many applications expose multiple ports such as HTTP on port 80 and port 8888 for web servers. The following example which is going to come now, yeah, it shows our app responding on both ports. Once again, we will also need to add a firewall rule for this port as we did for last uh, in the last example which is node.js hyphen service hyphen node port dot yaml previously so as you can see in the program and it is self-explanatory so i'm not taking too much of time to explain it uh, this is this is in continuation to the last program okay
so this is basically the the earlier uh, you know this program is basically node.js hyphen multi controller dot yaml and now we will see uh, you know uh, the other one which is node.js multi service dot yaml and uh, you know the program you can see on this screen so this is service yeah now the application and container itself must be listening on both ports for this to work in this example port 888 is used to represent a fake admin interface if for example you want to listen on port 443 you would need a proper SSL socket listening on the servers okay so this completes uh, this basically completes the discussion on uh, or the details on multiple ports in the next lecture uh, we would be discussing a few more and till then I'm taking a pause here uh, and ending this lecture thank you very much